ओके गाइज आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू इंजीनियर्स अकेडमी हिट दी सब्सक्राइब बटन इफ यू हैव डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दीज टू प्रॉब्लम्स सो द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम सी इज दैट द फोर्स एफ एक्स एट द एंड ऑफ द बीम डिटरमाइन द मोमेंट ऑफ दिस फोर्स अबाउट पॉइंट ओ एंड इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेट दैट अगेन द सेम फोर्स एफ एक्स एट द एंड ऑफ द बीम डिटरमाइन द मोमेंट ऑफ दिस फोर्स अबाउट पॉइंट ए so in the first problem we have to find the moment of this force f about point o and then in the second problem we have to find the moment of this force f about point a so as we know that the uh, moment is the cross part of the of the moment arm with this force f so to find the moment of this force f about point o we can define the moment arm for this force f from o to b the moment arm is a position vector from the point of rotation to any point on the line of action of this given force so in this particular problem this uh, ob position vector uh, is the moment arm for this force f so we can write that this is r ob the position vector from o to b so we can write that the moment of that force f about point o will be equal to the cross product of the position vector from o to b which is the moment arm with that force of cartesian vector so then we have to write this as a matrix determinant we have to write i j and k and then the components of the position vector from o to b so we have to find the position vector from o to b so we can write that the position vector from o to b so to write the position vector from o to b we need to travel from o to reach that point b in the x y and z direction so to reach that point b we have to travel 8 feet in the positive x so i will write plus 8 i so we will reach here then we need to travel this distance in the positive y or along the positive y so that is 0.25 this is 0.25 in the positive j and then we have to travel 1.5 feet in the positive k so i will write plus 1.5 in the positive k so this is the position vector from o to b so now we will write the components of that position vector from o to b so that is 8 0.25 and this is 1.5 and now the components of that force f which is given this is 400 400 in the i minus 100 along j and minus 700 in the k direction so this is moment from moment about point o so then we have to find the determinant so for that we have to write plus with i minus with j and plus with k so that will be uh, plus i and then the determinant of this sub matrix so this is 0.25 into minus 700 or we can write that minus 700 into 0.25 and then minus and that is minus into minus plus that is plus 100 into 1.5 so 100 into 1.5 then similarly minus j we will write minus j and then this this then this sub matrix so that is minus 700 into 8 minus 700 into 8 and then minus 400 into 1.5 and then we have to hide this so that is plus k and 8 into minus 100 so that is minus 800 and then minus 400 into 0.25 so that is 400 into 0.25 so then we have to calculate this so that is minus 700 uh, minus 700 into 0.25 plus 100 into 1.5 this gives us minus 25 so this is minus 25 i and then this is with j we have minus 700 into 8 minus 700 into 8 minus 400 into 1.5 this gives us minus 6200 minus 6200 in along the j and then this is minus 800 minus 800 minus 
400 into 0.25. So this is minus 900 minus 900 in the K. So this is the moment about that point O and the units will be since the force is given in pounds and this is in feet so that the units will be pound feet. And if you people want to find the magnitude of this moment about point O, so then we can find the moment, we can take the squares of the magnitude of each component. So that is 25 square plus 6200 square plus 900 square and then we have to take the square root. So that is uh, 25 square plus 6200 square plus 900 square. So this gives us 62, 65 approximately. So this is 62, 65 pound feet moment about point O. Now from this we from this we got minus 6200. So minus 62 minus 6200 into minus. So that will become plus. So this is plus, right? Remember this is plus, but the magnitude will remain the same. Now there is one, th this is the actual method that is the conventional method to find the determinant. There is one indirect method. So I have to tell you people that indirect method to find the determinant of this matrix. So let me write that again. That is I, J and K. That indirect method is very convenient method, right? So it is 8, 0 0.25 and this is 1.5 and then 400 minus 100 and minus 700. And then again write these two columns that is i and j in 8 and this is 400 and 0 0.25 and minus 100. Now multiply along the diagonals right. So I will multiply uh, these like this. So that is uh, this will be equal to Uh, and in this direction, we have to write plus, right? So that is plus i and 0 0.25 into minus 700. So 0 0.25 into minus 700. So minus 700. Or we can write that this is minus 0 0.25 into 700. And then we have to multiply this like this j with 1.5 into 400, right? So that is plus j and 400 into 1.5 and then like this that is from in this direction again in the diagonal and then we will write plus k and this is 8 into minus minus 100 right so that is minus 800 so minus 800 into k is like this this is minus 800 k So let me simplify this first. This is 0 0.2. This is 0 0.25 into 700. So 0 0.25 into 700. This gives us 175. So this is minus 175i. This is minus 175i. Then 400 into 1.5. 400 into 1.5. This is 600J, this gives us 600J. And then you, you people need to multiply along these diagonals, right, from the opposite side. So we have to multiply this like this. So that will be uh, 400 into 0 0.25 and multiply by K. So 400 into 0 0.25, so this gives us 100K. And that in this direction we have to write minus, so minus 400 into 0 0.5, so that is minus 100k. And then we have to multiply this, this is minus 100 into 1.5, so minus 100 into 1.5 and again we have to multiply minus, so minus into minus 100, so plus 100 into 1.5, so that will 100 into 1.5 so that will give us 150 so that is 150i so i will write plus 150i and then minus minus into minus 700 into 8 
so 700 into 8 so 700 into 8 this gives us 5600 so plus 5600 j so this will be equal to now we can add this so this is min minus 175 plus 150 so that will give us minus 25 i then this will give us 6200 j and this will give us minus 900 k so again we got that same moment uh, Cartesian vector of moment about point O due to that vector and the units are in pound feet. Now for the second problem we have to find the moment of this force of about point A. So now we need to find the moment about point A and the moment arm will be from A to B like this this will be from a to b so now we can write that the moment arm is the position vector from a to b now we we need to find this position vector from a to b so to find this position vector from a to b we have to travel eight feet in the positive x so i will write that the position vector from a to b is plus eight i and then we have to travel this 0.25 feet 0.25 feet in the positive j and there is no need to travel in the z direction right so we reach directly this point b so this is the position vector from a to b so now i will write again the determinant that is i j and k and this is 8i and 0.25 j and this is 0 and since the k component of this position vector from a to b is 0 and this force F is again 400, it is 400 minus 100 and that is minus 700. So again we need to take the determinant that is the moment vector about point A. So then this is, we, we have to write plus I minus J and plus K and then we have to write like this. So, this is 0 0.25 into minus 700 into plus i. So, minus 700 into 0 0.25 into plus i and then uh, minus j. So, we will write minus 8 into minus 700 and this will become 0, right? So, that is into minus j. So, this is minus j, right? And then this, this is plus k. This is 8 into 100 is minus 800, minus 400 into 0 0.25. So 400 into 0 0.25 is 100. Since 0 0.25 is 1 divided by 4. So this is uh, minus 700 into 0 0.25. This gives us minus 175. This is minus into plus plus and 8 into 700 this is 5600j and this will be minus 900k minus 900k so this is the moment of that force f about point a and this is that cartesian vector of that moment about point a and if you want to find its magnitude then the magnitude will be equal to the squares of the magnitudes of each component that is 175 square plus 5600 square plus 900 square and then we will take the square root 175 square plus 5600 square plus 900 square so this gives us 5674.55 or we can say that it is approximately 5675 and the units will be in pound feet right since this is in feet so this is pound feet and similarly the units of this is all also in pound feet so this is the solution of these two problems i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy if it helps and let me know in the comments if this helps in your learning